again as the crowd would say in the Christmas pants But I let the wee be old dear me in 1909 If things go on as they're going on now and keep on going on the same Our 19th century stores will be of everlasting fame Our stores, our stores, our 19th century stores There's mutton and lamb and beef and ham, sugar and spice and everything nice Our stores, our stores, our 19th century stores There's eggs overlaid and new marmalade in our 19th century can't get along in this world without telling a few lies. And where is there an article that will compel you to tell more lies than eight? You know, I, I don't think we properly grasp eight. There's something so jolly after about the eight, you know. Why, even the name eight is a mystery about it. And I don't like the way you spell it either. E double dog eight. Of course, there's three kinds of eight. First of all, there's the new lady. Well, that's of course you need to see. Then there's the fresh eight. Well, let's get no only more so. And then comes the egg. Ah, that, that's the egg I'm talking about. That's the little founder that causes all the trouble. Still a little round white thing, you can't know what it's thinking about. You can't stick it or drop it, it's got no face, you can't, can't make it laugh or anything. You, you simply look at it and say, hey, that's all. Now, I was looking out some fresh eggs this morning from Russia, when in came a customer. Good morning, Mr. Brown. You are early this morning. What do you say? What? Those eggs exploded this morning? Well, you surprise me. Do you mean to say those eggs were bought here as soon as you put them in the sauce and they went off bang and blew the mantelpiece off? Please, well, you do surprise me. Danger, of course I will. Why, these eggs are hot. You boiled them in hot water. Oh, well, there you are. Of course, that, that's the cause of it. Our eggs are so full of meat they can't stand hot water. You used to boil them in cold water and dry them with a fork like potatoes. Now, what's next? Nice chicken? Yes, nice fowl chicken, I suppose. Thank you. How about this one? Oh yes, that's the country bird, he walked up to the country this morning. Now I'm sorry we haven't got a duck, but I can flatten this one down before you make it look like a duck. No, and I'm sorry to say we haven't got a pheasant. But you see, these birds are fed on pheasant food and duck food as well as chicken food. So you really get the three flavors in the one bird. You'll take this one? Thank you very much. There you are, you see, my words. What lies did you have to tell? In our stores, our stores, our 19th century.